Brazil are a team filled with stars. From Vinicius to Rodrigo, Hendrik to Savio, Elder Militao to Marquinhos, there are stars all over this squad. But the question remains, can Brazil win the Copa America and potentially make it two titles won in the last six years? Honestly, why not? I mean, why not, right? Like I said before, Vinicius, Rodrigo, Hendrik, Savio, Marquinhos, Militao, these are all serious and established players in Europe, playing for the biggest clubs too. So, it should not be a surprise to see Brazil enter the favorites conversation alongside Argentina. Speaking of Argentina, they still have their star man Lionel Messi making a record-breaking 35th appearance, the most appearances in the Copa America by a single individual. Leo's record stands at 35 matches, 22 wins, 10 draws, and 3 losses. Compared to Brazil's sensation Neymar Jr., Messi is clear when it comes to this competition, whereas the opposite could be said for Neymar. Do not get me wrong. Here at Footballholics, we love Neymar. We respect Neymar. But I'm certain that frustration from fans has heightened and reached the tipping point. This comes at the recurring issue that is Neymar Jr.'s 579 days missed due to injury. Furthermore, Neymar has missed 255 days due to an anterior cruciate ligament in 2024, as well as being ruled out for the upcoming Copa America. However, what if I told you that this could in fact be a good thing for Brazil? The new generation of Rodrigo, Savio, Hendrik and company have all been showing up in recent fixtures. In fact, let's talk Hendrik for now. The Palmeiras wonder kid will be looking to soar new heights after landing a dream move to Real Madrid. Streets are saying that Santiago Bernabeu is about to become the number one destination for prime entertainment. But I'll not be going into details as that is a story for another day. Instead, fans will be looking to the wonder kids to perform at the absence of Neymar. Potential lineups include Hendrik as the sole striker with Rodrigo and Vinicius playing on either side of him. The team have the pleasure of calling upon the likes of Martinelli and Rafinha from their bench. In terms of a standout performer, majority have their eyes set on Rodrigo goes. The Real Madrid attacker has proved his importance as Los Blancos claimed La Quince, the 15th Champions League trophy of all time. Rodrigo faces major pressure coming into Brazil camp after inheriting the legendary number 10 jersey. It's an honor to follow that line of Pele and Neymar. I am ready to have more and more responsibility and be better. If you're excited to watch Rodrigo turn it up this summer, then go ahead and drop a comment down below. Speaking of comments, there have been decent debates about whether or not the current Selecao has the mentality to get the job done. This comes after a legend said something so crazy, it nearly caused a riot in the city of Rio de Janeiro. On June 15th, media outlets in all of Brazil, as well as citizens, FA associates, players, everyone was caught in a state of shock when one of their own, Ronaldinho, had this to say. I am not going to watch a single game. They lack everything. Grit, joy, good football. I've never seen a situation this bad. There's a lack of love for the shirt. Turns out, the Brazilian legend issued this scathing comment to get a reaction out of the players. Ronaldinho is aiming to get the team amped up and play with ambition. As a neutral, who would not love to see glimpses of Brazilian football, especially when there's players like Vinicius Jr. running down the wing. Vinicius Jr. is undoubtedly one of the best wingers of his generation and frontrunner of the 2024 Ballon d'Or. Like Rodrigo, this Real Madrid ace will be looking to mark his name on the international stage. The record so far has been far from what is expected from an attacker of his caliber. Vinny Jr. has managed an underwhelming three goals and four assists in over 25 games played for his country. If there's an attacker capable of turning things around and showing up on the big stage, then it's definitely him. Amidst the excitement and anticipation, Brazil's choice for captain in the upcoming Copa is still in limbo. During their 2022 World Cup campaign, the team was led by Thiago Silva. At some point, Casemiro stepped in to assume leadership. However, with both these players excluded from manager Doraville Jr.'s provisional squad, there is much anxiety of whom will assume this heavy-duty task. But we cannot forget that there are a range of candidates. As seen in Brazil's 3-3 draw against Spain, Vinicius Jr. showed glimpses of leadership when he captained the team for this fixture. Before then, both Marquinhos and Danilo 
each took turns for international matches against Argentina and England respectively. Still, it's highly likely that a senior player like Marquinhos will be given the armband ahead of the likes of Danilo and Alison Becker. The point is, do not try to underestimate Brazil. It does not really matter who assumes leadership when you know you're going to get strong personalities all over the pitch. For example, 17-year-old Endrick, prior to the tournament, netted a total of two winners and became the first teenager to score in their first three fixtures of their international debut. Now, he benches the likes of Arsenal's Gabriel Jesus by becoming the youngest striker in the starting lineup since Pele himself. But let's get back to the earlier point. You know, the what about smashing the subscribe button? Come on, click it. But anyway, the earlier point about your substitutes having an impact on the game is very necessary. For instance, let's look at the likes of Argentina. Though they boast a starting lineup of world-class individuals, the same case cannot be made for their subs bench, per se. See, Brazil has an advantage, and it is that they have a myriad of stars waiting to make an instant impact. There are standout performers all over the pitch. Curiously though, what do you think of Brazil 2024 Copa America? Will this be the stage Vinicius Jr. proves and backs his own Ballon d'Or shouts? Or will his fellow teammate Rodrigo shine brighter than most in this star-studded side? Let us know in the comments down below.